Hello friends, in my previous tutorial I have demonstrated how to use for loop for generating 10, 100 or any number of numbers random numbers as well as natural numbers from a particular place to next in this tutorial I will be using a different kind of for loop which is called as for loop with conditional terminal we will explore the functionality of this kind of loop in this loop there is a conditional terminal which is this terminal this is the condition if condition is true then the for loop will get exited means the execution from this portion of the loop will be exited out and whatever the numbers generated over here will be passed on to arrays right let's suppose generate 10 numbers and let's see how it works so I highlight execution this is the stop button which I should place it here so as to see clearly so I just run and you see numbers have started generated first number is 1 second is 13 4, 13, 16, 29, 25, 83, 81, 1 again, 76, 81. So all the numbers have been execute, executed and we have 10 numbers generated in the for loop now what if I press stop button in between so first number is generated I just press stop only 4 numbers are generated because I have pressed the stop button so this condition of the loop for loop is with the conditional terminal this condition of the loop has become true so this condition is stop it true if this button becomes high or this stop button becomes on the true condition so the condition over here becomes true so the loop gets stopped stop it true so as soon as this button is pressed the condition becomes true the execution of the loop or the control of the loop exits out of this terminal right or exits out of this loop border right and the data collected over here in index form gets gets collected onto the array in the index form so this is about for loop with the conditional terminal see this loop count is also showing a for loop reddish button which is not present in the normal for loop if you draw normal for loop this button is just n and there is no reddish mark but here there is a reddish mark so this reddish mark is because of this terminal this terminal is not present in the normal for loop so if you want to change this back to normal for loop what you are going to do you are going to put this conditional terminal so as you put the conditional terminal this and changes its shape right Now, as previously told, you can generate the number 
you can generate the random number you can multiply it with 100 multiply with 100 and the nearest integer and let's take the wire out create indicator which is array of random numbers and you have to also take control stop button this is stop it so you can create this program as illustrated and this demonstration clearly shows how to use a for loop with conditional terminal let's see why the arrow is broken create constant it will be 10 so this is for loop with a conditional terminal.